Hello and welcome to my Toy Corner. I am taking a look today at the McFarlane Avatar The Last Airbender figures of Katara and Sokka. I've got a little comparison here with the Diamond Select toys also so that you can kind of see them side by side. Here's an Aang and there's the Diamond Select Sokka. Both are excellent lines. Both are great additions. You may choose one or you may choose both like me to collect them. These are a lower price point. Diamond Selects run anywhere from 16 for well actually 1599 to 2499 depending on the figure these are only running 997 right now at Walmart so that's a great deal let's crack them open and take a look at the figures all right there we have the southern water tribe brother and sister tag team of Sokka and Katara the figures are really outstanding i love the face sculpt on these that's a really fabulous sculpt i mean that that is seamless especially when you when you consider again the price point the detail on these, if you've seen the other ones that I've posted up or if you've seen them in the store, you have them yourself, you'll notice that there's a lot of attention to detail in the hair, the sculpt for that, um, even the ridges and the dresses, the fabric, you see the ruffles from the fur. Uh, as far as posability goes, you got the, not quite the Jean-Claude Van Damme, actually, yeah, yeah, I guess you can. You can, <laughs> I thought the skirt was going to was going to keep me from doing that but i guess not so you get the full shoulder fly there um you do have an elbow joint but you're not going to do a whole lot of water bending poses with this because she does not have a wrist she does not have an ankle um, joint at all but you do have the head going back and forth so the other thing oops the other thing um, that i noticed with these so again great detail you can definitely get some poses that are going to look great in a display the water effect that she comes with is a little puzzling. I'm a little confused on this. There's no stand. There's nothing um, other than just having a little water splash at her feet. I'm really not sure what they were going for with that water effect. It is cool, and I'm sure if I can figure out a way to customize something or you know, somebody out there that's got the artistic uh, uh, bug, you could definitely get something out of that, but just as well as out of the package as is, I, I just don't see any way to do anything with it. Now, um, the boomerang, on the other hand, for Sucka is the complete opposite. This one not only does fit in his hand, there's that, by the way, there's, there's the boomerang, but it's also got a holder, so he's got the, there you go, Ta -da. so you can lock in that that boomerang he's ready for ready for battle i love the smirk on his face very similar to the diamond select toys um similar posability as far as the joints they're all the same great detail in that um fabric also you'll notice the difference that's one big thing with the diamond select you got a little bit more posability obviously some extra accessories um the head sculpt on him is he's got he's got that kind of smirk too but he almost looks like an, a, a more adult Saka to me. Uh, still, great, great figure, great sculpt. I love these guys. Um, you can see some of the differences again between the um, there's no ridges, no fabric um, designation there. Yeah, very similar things with the posability here. All right, Diamond Select Toys here. You can see right on right on the button with six inches, just about five inches exactly with Saka's ponytail. Guitars just under. And Aang for Diamond Select is right at five, so pretty scaled pretty well. Both both series are, I think, pretty um, pretty accurate. You can see the difference in the variations there for yourself, so you can decide which ones do you want to collect or do you want to collect them all. You can see my choice here. I'm going to lead you out with some photos and some music as always. There's my quick short review of the McFarlane Avatar: The Last Airbender figures of Katara and Sokka. Thanks for watching.